We hear a lot about export opportunities for Delaware companies, for exporters, but the one issue our businesses often struggle with is trade financing. You have the opportunity later today to participate in one of the breakout sessions on trade financing. But right now, we are fortunate to have with us Diane Farrell, who is a board member of the Export-Import Bank of the United States. And the Export-Import Bank, if, if you're not familiar with it, is an excellent uh, potential resource for exporters for financing. Diane is a presidential appointee and was sworn in on August, in, in August of 2007. As a member of the Board of Directors, Farrell is responsible for voting on Exim Bank transactions in excess of $10 million, as well as on significant bank policy matters. Farrell also represents and promotes the interests of small business exporters. During fiscal year 2010, the bank authorized a record $5 billion in transactions for the direct benefit of small business exporters, compared to $4.4 billion in small business transactions during fiscal year 2009. Farrell is often invited to present to national groups of exporters where she emphasizes the variety of Exim Bank products that help exporters grow their international sales. In addition, she has been named a member of the White House Business Council. Through frequent visits to India and Southeast Asia and Latin America, Farrell promotes increased sales of U.S. goods and services as diverse as the conventional and green energy sectors and infrastructure for transportation and communications. She helps develop and foster financial institution participation in some of Exim Bank's priority markets, notably India, Indonesia, and Colombia. Farrell has more than three decades of professional experience in the private and public sectors in financial management, maintaining fiscal integrity, and managing budgets. Her work has included private sector, not-for-profit, governmental, and educational arenas at the state, national, and international levels. Please join me in welcoming Diane Farrell. introduction. Uh, Delaware is such a special and unique state. I don't need to tell you that. And it's clearly Michael is the embodiment of all that's good and wonderful about Delaware. And his pride is evident in his remarks. And I think that the citizens of the United States, in addition to the residents here in Delaware, are very fortunate to, to have him representing all interests when it comes to agriculture. And uh, similar to what Michael described in terms of success, uh, exports are up, in fact, exports are running ahead. I was just checking my uh, BlackBerry. Uh, nationally, exports are up by 21% over fiscal 2009, which means that we really are on track to meet the president's goal of doubling exports within this five-year period when he set the marker down. Uh, the other reason that I love to be in Delaware, and uh, Rebecca mentioned 30 years of service, and I sort of cringe after a while. I, I think it's all kind of like revealing your age, you know, talking about how many years you've been doing this. Uh, but I do have to say the first time that I met your former senator and now our vice president was when I was in college. And I remind him of that whenever I see him. <laughs> and he takes it in good humor and he has this indefatigable analysis he was when I, when I first met him. I'm going to share with you some slides because I think that what is probably of greatest value today is to uh, familiarize you with the, the way Exim works, the kinds of products that we have. I'm pleased to say that as I had an opportunity to meet some of you this morning, you are familiar with the bank, you are users of the bank, or you have used the bank in the past, and that is fantastic because uh, we are a small but mighty agency, and uh, having goodwill from uh, our customers is probably the best sales technique that, that we have. This first slide that says Global Access is actually part of the National Export Initiative. Uh, it, we are committed to working through commerce and the incredible uh, folks here in the greater Philadelphia, New Jersey, uh, Delaware area. Uh, and we're so grateful to everything that commerce does for us. And we have been partnering and traveling across the country uh, with our small business Global Access. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, we, we have in this past year we have introduced new products. We have increased our turnaround time so that we're uh, more uh, moving at the speed of business, as we like to say, government at the speed of business, which was our annual conference this year. And this slide is a reflection of the sort of the, 
the new thinking and the uh, enthusiasm that we've got as we uh, participate in the NEI. If we can go to the next slide. Wonderful. Now this slide, and again, some of you who know XM may know this and could probably speak to it yourselves, but there are really three fundamentals to the way the bank does its business. Uh, when we're talking about small business, we're really talking about the first two lines that you see there, where you see funds to fulfill orders. Very simply, that means congratulations, you have received a contract. However, you either need to staff up, you need to purchase equipment, you need to purchase goods for uh, purposes of whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, and we have a, a very, very active and very successful working capital guarantee program. We have a number of master agreements with banks in this area. PNC is a, certainly a notable uh, in, in the neighborhood here, along with many others. Uh, and we're there to help you to get the kind of upfront money that you need in order to fill your orders. And I do want to say at this juncture that when I say orders, I'm not limiting that to just the traditional manufacturing. We are also talking about services. Because that, and I'm looking directly at a, co at a friend that I just met this morning, uh, because we recognize again that when you look at the small business sector and when you look at where great economic growth is taking place within the United States, a lot of it has to do with services. So we want people to think beyond just the traditional manufacturing and goods model, but also to include services. Uh, the next line, the yellow line, you'll see extension of credit. That's exactly uh, as it seems. We provide, for cents on the dollar, receivables and insurance. So that if you are, let's say you are a first-time exporter and you have a contract uh, and you do you know, need to go to your bank for support uh, and they are a little bit nervous about the fact that if this is now a foreign receivable, they're concerned about your, being, uh, your ability to be paid. You may also be concerned about that. As our chairman, Fred Hopper, likes to say, we're in the sleep business. These products are available to you so you can sleep at night and let us do the worrying. And that's really what this is about. In addition to that, it's a, it's a good sales tool when you're talking to your buyer uh, that, that you have this product. Uh, it, can, it can help you to make the sale. It can, again, it can help them to uh, understand that you've got the full faith and credit of the United States government behind this transaction. And so this, again, is a very popular product. And we have regional offices across the US. Our New York office uh, represents us here. I'm going to introduce my colleague uh, a little bit later. Uh, but we are, you know, we're, our, our regional offices are really there specifically to help you to work through any uh, insurance issues that you may have and to help you with policies. Then we get to buyer financing. And this will be more for, as you see to the right, medium uh, and long-term, both insurance, uh, medium and long-term uh, loan guarantees, uh, medium-term insurance, and we also actually do direct lend. We don't do it very frequently. We did quite a bit of it in 2008 when liquidity was so tight, but generally the market is uh, very competitive and the rates are more attractive, uh, and therefore a, a loan guarantee from XM tends to be a better tool than uh, necessarily having to do that too. Um, to having us to lend directly. Uh, this is great, of course, because now here you are, you have identified a buyer overseas, and they still have to find the financing through their banks in order to uh, help you to complete the sale. And we're here to help them to make the purchase. So I always like to say we're sort of an online dating service to a degree. Not only will we help you to ramp up, we will help your buyer in order to make sure that you're able to get the sale successfully. That, too, can be an extremely successful marketing tool as you're developing relationships overseas, where not only are you showing them the superiority of your product and the efficiencies and everything else, but also talking about the fact that you can help them to get financing. Uh, the next slide we'll go to. Now, this is the really exciting part, because even if you've known XM over the years, we have spent the last couple of years coming up with new products that are directly in response to what the customer needs. And the first one that you'll see there is Express Insurance. That was just launched about two weeks ago. Uh, and this is a policy for first-time users for amounts of 300000 or less. And we will provide a streamlined application process with